You're trying to play Hytale with your friends, you're trying to join a server, or just trying to connect your friend in single player, you're getting the failed to connect to server error, or a lot of other different Hytale errors when trying to join a server or play with friends. We're going to be showing you the common different things that you can do to fix this in this video. The first is making sure the server is online, because, well, it's not online here. If we go ahead and open this up and turn the server online, we should be able to join it. But sometimes that won't always be the case. So what happens next when the server shows online? You try to join and it still fails. Well, the first thing you're always going to want to check for a Hytale server is authentication. So we can come over here and we can do auth status and we can see what the auth status is. You can see we do not have authentication tokens. And to authenticate, you just do auth login device hit enter you're going to get a device authentication code here where we can copy and paste this and authenticate our hightail server we just take that code paste it into our browser which we've now done here and we click approve and it's going to go ahead and approve the server you may need to log in or something like that but i was already logged in so we're good to go it might even have you log in twice that's not uncommon now we can see the server is authenticated in the background we can rerun that auth status command that we ran earlier and we will see that there is a token present and we are good to go. We can confirm that by going ahead and clicking try again and it will join us right on in to the server. So that's one of the first things that you want to check. The server's online, awesome. If the server's online and you still can't join, make sure it's authenticated. That's done, awesome. And this authentication and a lot of these server issues are very annoying. And that's where using a hosting provider like ours, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. You can check it out at the first link in the description down below. And at Simple Game Hosting, authentication is automatic, meaning you don't have to do anything. That copying and pasting and logging in and all that, you don't have to do anything like that at Simple Game Hosting. Authentication is taken care of for you. Plus, a lot of other server issues automatically fix themselves with like all these network settings and things we're going to have to get into here in a second. Even if you're trying to join a server and you're not hosting it yourself, a lot of those issues are fixed whenever you're using a hosting provider because a lot of that networking stuff that you might have to do on your computer to join, you don't have to do whenever you're using a hosting provider. Plus, there's expert live chat support, so should you run into any issues, you can reach out to live chat and get help joining your server to ensure that you get online. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to the next Z slash SGH to start your Hytale server the simple way and worry less about server issues. Nevertheless, we're now on this server, but let's say we're still having issues, we can't join it, all of that. What do we do? What's the next step? Well, the next thing we want to do is actually open up our Windows settings. And then we want to go on the left-hand side here to the time and language settings. Then we want to finally click on date and time. Scroll down and click this Sync Now button. What this is going to do is sync your computer's time, make sure it's all up to date, and sometimes your time not being synced will cause to not be able to join Hytale servers. So with that, you can now go ahead, connect to your friend, join the server, all of that stuff. However, if you're still running into issues there, you still can't join, we're still not done. The next thing we want to do is use a Windows Defender firewall and make sure there's no blocking going on in that for Hytale or Java. So we want to go ahead and open up the Windows Defender firewall here, and then in the Windows Defender firewall, click and allow an app or feature through Windows Defender. Then you want to come in here and find all instances instances of Hytale. So if we scroll down here, we'll see there's a few of them. The client, the client pre-release, the client GRE, the Hytale GRE pre-release. Make sure all of these are set to allow here. So we want to make sure all these are checked and then that private and public are checked. Now, if you can't, for whatever reason, change one of these, you want to make sure you click change settings up here because then that will unlock it and you will be able to change them. As you can see, I can now enable and disable these by clicking change settings. You also want to do this for anything that says Java here. Why? Because the Hytale server is a Java server. So you want to make sure that all these Java and Java W's also are public and private checked over here. And then you can go ahead and save all that stuff. Click OK. You're good to go. And now try to join the server again. Those are the most common things that'll happen whenever you're having issues joining a Hytale server. We're now moving into the more advanced troubleshooting methods, but it's on the same location. So let's go ahead and open that up. What we want to do is go to the start menu and search for view network connections. Open this up and then select your network connection. Now for me, I'm connected via Ethernet. There's a physical cable running from my router to my computer. If you are on Wi-Fi, you'll select your Wi-Fi card here, things like that. 
Then you wanna go ahead, right click on this, and then click on properties here at the bottom. Then once this opens up your ethernet properties, click configure. Finally, we have this kind of setup here and we wanna click advanced. Now, first thing I would say here, do not go through and change everything I'm setting all at once. <laughs> it probably will break things. And I said this is the advanced part of this. I meant it. Change these one by one and then undo them if you try to join the server and it doesn't work. Now, if you did want to combine them all, you could, but again, make sure you're very, very, very careful because this can break your entire kind of internet where your computer wouldn't be able to join the internet. Not like your whole house, but your computer. If that does happen, you can just play this video and do the opposite of what I'm doing here. If I say disable it, enable it, for example, if something breaks and it would revert to how it was before. First thing we're gonna look at here is priority in VLAN. By default, this is probably enabled. In the case here, you would disable it, click OK, and then go and try to join the server. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, we can go ahead and get that re-enabled. Next thing we're gonna be looking at here is this RecV segment co-aliasing. We're actually gonna do this for both of these. We wanna come in here and set both of these to disabled. Now mine already are disabled, so no changes there for me, but if yours aren't, disable them. Go see if you can join. If you can, awesome. If you can't, go and reset them back up how they were. Finally, the last thing we're gonna be looking in here is kind of a big thing, which is all of our different power settings and efficiency settings and turning those off. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all of these or really any of these and we would want to set them to disable if I did. What you're looking for are these settings here. Advanced EEE, go ahead and disable that. You would want to disable ARP offload, energy efficient ethernet, flow control, and green ethernet. Turn all of those off, click OK, See if it works. If it does, awesome. If not, you can come turn them back on. This one's not as big of a deal because really all this is doing is going to use more battery if you're on like a laptop or something. But you probably don't want to do that if you don't have to. So I would go through and re-enable these if it doesn't work. And that's all of our advanced troubleshooting settings when it comes to joining a Hytale server. And now you should be able to go ahead and connect to that server. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. If you find another method of fixing different connectivity issues. Go ahead and post those down below because maybe this video doesn't have it. Hytale just came out two days ago. So we are, you know, sourcing stuff from our videos and, and things like that to get here. And so because of that, let's make this video a resource where in the description, there are more resources for people to look at if these didn't work and there is another solution. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one and I'm out. Peace.